Alright everyone and welcome back to another video, the F123 driver career mode with Hass. Episode number 15 today for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. If you missed the previous episode at Brazil, then I recommend you go and check the one out before seeing this one. Because spoiler, we finally managed to get a podium in this career mode. 50, you know, we've come close twice, third time lucky, managing to get on the podium. And it leaves us in a comfortable position ahead of our, one of our main rivals, Fernando Alonso and Aston Martin in this series. So, with the two rounds left to go, we are in a good position to get 7th in the drivers and 4th uh, in the constructors. Um, in terms of some R&D stuff, I want to balance this out. I don't particularly like having an unbalance between front downforce and rear downforce, so we need to get that one but while, we, while I remember as well. But obviously everyone's potentially planning, although you've still got upgrades for Ferrari and Aston Martin, McLaren are still bringing upgrades. So even though there's a regulation change around the corner, um, people are still choosing to upgrade. As I say, we've still got one upgrade coming for Abu Dhabi. Um, but nothing come on the Sashi side, you know, we're just building for um, potentially, well, I'm building Haas for season two really there um, as well. But we moved to qualifying under the lights here in Las Vegas. Um, yeah, first time under the lights for me, obviously I have driven this track in the day. Um, yeah, I don't know what to think about this track to be honest. Um, well, I'm going to take you through it. So they've got this section. This this corner is actually quite nice. This um, sort of flat right hander, really. I mean, it's not really flat. It'd probably be flat in the like, in maxed out cars. Then you've got this DRS zone, which you feel like is probably long enough for a DRS zone to get a few overtakes done. Um, you know, shot 90 degree right is probably the ideal thing at the end of a DRS zone. Then we come to this horrible little corner. I always have a bit of understeer through that corner, horrible, whoever designed that, no, that needs to be redesigned, that corner is also a bit horrible, the AI will have traction you out of that corner, um, as we go through the end of the, um, of the first, I think that's the middle sector, no, it's the first sector, excuse me, then we come to this lazy corner, again, horrible, horrible corner, um, and now, we're on to the world's longest DRS zone, you will max out your car, even in season one, on this straight. Um, apparently the cars can only do 226 miles an hour. That's how far I've seen so far. We'll have to come back here in future career mode. But these, are the, it's a fast straight. If you are, if you don't have DRS, you have absolutely no chance in hell on this game of keeping your position as well. This one, Phil likes it should have had DRS, doesn't have DRS. Um, but you can get a, if you get a good run out that corner, you can make a good position. Sergio Perez not in a very good time of it down in P11 and got us five second, five place grid penalty as well. We're up in P6. We've got um, Lando Norris behind who's trying to have a good end to the season as well. Uh, Kevin Magnus down in P9. So yeah, we'll have to see what we can do though from sixth place on the grid. It's time for the race then. It's time for the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix. Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada for a race many couldn't believe would ever happen. From the glitz and the glamour of the famous strip, it is time for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. 17 corners, three straights and two DRS zones. We have taken over the world famous strip and Formula One is going to have a top speed there of around 210 miles per hour. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. George Russell will begin today's event in pole position. And it's Pierre Gasly in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Phoenix, Leclerc, Verstappen, Sainz, Bottas, Perez, Norris, Sargent, Magnussen, Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri, Ocon, Stroll, Albon, Joe, De Vries, Sonoda, and Lewis Hamilton rounds off the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. 
Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Joined once again by Anthony Davidson for this one. Ant, there's a lot of incidents on track recently for this driver. No one does that on purpose. It is part and parcel of racing, though. Certainly, confidence is an important factor. And every time you're involved in an incident, it's not just the car you damage, but that confidence as well. But all the top racing drivers are able to tune that out when the race gets underway and focus on the job at hand. Okay, as you know, this is the team's home race, which means it's extra important for everybody in this team. They've got friends here, they've got family here, they're all in the grandstands watching. So let's go and put on a good show for them. Mark does realise Hassar based in the UK, doesn't he? Um, anyway, I mean, he is right, he is the home race for the team. Um, and we were looking to um, capitalise, especially the fact that half the grid has taken a grid, uh, has taken a penalty. Um, you know, that is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it, you might as well just random number generator to um, generate the grid. Uh, race strategy, I was thinking potentially one stop or two stop. I have to wait. I have to say that I'm going to start on mediums. I think I'm thinking of starting on mediums, and then. Depending on what happens, um, if we get stuck or if we're in free air, we might do a two stop or a one stop. Um, yeah, it's only slightly harder, hard to medium, but I feel like the, the fresher rubber, you can gain so much time on undercutting people. But we'll start with the hard, medium to hard stretch and see how we get on. So, five foot lights in, the Las Vegas Grand Prix. And away we go, and it's a um, okay start compared to Gasly. Can we get Gasly on the outside into turn one? Uh, Gasly no, Gas is still there on the inside, almost tight tie back. And we go a little bit deeper now. We have to yield at that point. Is Gasly as the outside a better line? And we retain well, we retain P3 for now. But look behind us. You've got the two Ferraris and Max Verstappen going side by side. Verstappen gets held off, and it's Sainz. Um, who is uh, ahead of his teammate and Verstappen will be in front of Leclerc as well as we let Sainz go to fulfil our Ferrari contract. Uh, not really trying to race the Ferrari as well, but he has, Sainz has got in front of Gasly, but they've had a, both had a poor exit out of that penultimate re, re, really is what was the penultimate corner. This is what I was talking about. If you have a poor exit out of that corner, and you're sitting down the main straight even without DRS available, um, that's why Russell started to run away really as uh, Sainz and uh, Gasly now going side by side um, what can they do can Sainz get the move down the inside yes he can and he moves up there but Leclerc now is battling with the two Red Bulls but not much more because that's Leclerc going slowly and that sh is Leclerc Engine has blown up, and that's Leclerc out of the race. And that's going to bring out a virtual safety car, uh, which doesn't really last long, um, to be honest. Um, yeah, I always, always lose out to the AI virtual safety cars as well, compared to um, you know a normal safety car restart. Um, that's what that's just my personal findings really of playing the F1 game over the years, but. Again, we're going to let Sites pass, and then, the, unlike, um, well, you're going to see what's happened. Sites doesn't have DRS now. I have DRS. The two, the Gasly behind and Verstappen have DRS. Um, you know, we are going, we have got Gasly, but we have got, um, look at the speed. You think, you think you're at the end of the straight. No, you're only halfway down it at that point, at this point. Now you're at the end of the straight. Big braking zone. Hopefully nobody locks up and goes into that wall in real life when he would get round to it later this year. But Gasly having a go at sights then into this um, penultimate section of corners. You don't want to be side by side through that corners. You will lose them all the momentum in the world. And sights and Gasly going past. And there is Verstappen who had the momentum through that final corner. Can Verstappen get in front of sights round the outside of Verstappen? But sights is going to squeeze him out um, and it will be Sainz, um, sorry Verstappen who gets in front of Sainz but again we're going to let Verstappen not have the DRS out of that corner um, and as a result well Verstappen now is a sitting duck because you know I mean we're not even we're about a third way down this straight and 
as I say, I don't like this straight. I think there needs to be a corner in the middle of it, to be honest. I really do. Um, but there we go. Let me know what you think about the Las Vegas in the comments below. Verstappen, again, he's got the better um, sort of car here. And again, it's up to out that corner, that complex. I really don't like it, um, personally speaking. Las Vegas isn't a favourite track of mine, to be honest. I will admit that. Um, obviously, it is a street circuit, and it's, you know it is a fantastic location. It's just that the way the way it's been designed isn't to my taste. As Perez is now going to battle, um, Stappen. We did let Science go, and then started uh, holding up um, Verstappen. So apologies not mentioned that. You know, just trying to get Science clear of this battle, get him into clean air. Hopefully, you can chase Arthur Russell and chase him down. For us, um, well, we've got uh, sides, but you can get the slipstream. If you've got good aero, you can defend down this straight, let the car pass you and get in the slipstream because your speed will then instantly increase, especially the fact that the, the following effects, um, the ability to follow a car um, isn't there. I'm gonna change my tires to sauce. We are coming in at the end of lap number eight. For the soft tire, we're gonna have don't know if we've got two sets of soft tyres, that is the worry. Paris is coming in as well. If I knew Paris was coming in, I might have done one lap longer. Or along that short time. Oh, hang on. Why are they putting on mediums? I didn't select mediums. I selected... Oh my goodness, this game. But you saw me select softs in that window and it gave me mediums. Fantastic. So now we definitely have to stop again, no matter what. Oh well, we've just got to get on with it. There's nothing There's nothing we can do about that. Um, but, you know, now we're going to have the slower tyres against Paris. This is why we wanted the softs to push to the end. I mean, you know, especially in this la last stint. We will have the softs for the last stint when everyone Arthur could be on halves, but against, defending against Paris is pretty much impossible. And Russell, he is also pitted for a set of mediums. And I suspect Russell, you know, might lose the lead to Sainz if Sainz is having a good go. That's why I wanted Sainz in clear air to help him out there and make sure that he is able to fight for the lead against Russell, who might be doing a two-stop. We saw Perez and I both catching this group of cars. The fresh tyres are so much quicker on this game. You know, if you can make it work with a two-stop, the two-stop can be faster than the one-stop on this game. Um, as well as Paris has cleared De Vries, we're going to uh, destroy De Vries halfway, we're not even halfway down the straight and we're getting up to um, 226 miles an hour and also I don't like the fact that the engine note changes as well, a bit horrible as Paris has been blocked off by Joe, there's contact with Paris as well as we go down the start finish rate, we're going to dive down the inside of Zhou Guan Yu up to P8 now as people start to make their one and only stops, here's a replay to say Perez not really aware that I was there, really. Um, you know, I just decided to turn in there, and then down the inside of Joe at turn one, and Paris just follows me through. But um, anyway, we moved to lap 13. Now we've caught up to Lance Straw. Got Paris behind us again, but um, we are going to get Straw. This is the shorter DRS zone, and well, we moved. We, we he defended the inside. We're able to take the outside. Nice little move there, up, up to P7, um, as well as our teammate has made contact with George Russell, and Russell has lost his end plate. So, is Russell coming in? Yes, he is. So, that's Russell making a second stop already, and that is Nick De Vries, and he has crashed in the middle sector, and that is going to bring out a safety car to clear up De Vries's mess, especially the fact he's doing a 10-point turn to get around again. Um, as well, so safety car out. Um, this is where I'd have loved to have been on the soft tyre because we could have gone medium to the end. We now got in the position where we're forced on to either hard or soft, and we might as well just risk it. Go on to soft. There might be increased tyre at the end, but it will be worth it on the safety car restart. Sergeant's up to P4. Hamilton P5. So they've made positions. I don't. I don't. They stopped the lap before. I think. Um, as well, with every or you know, with everyone squabbling, I think that's what's happened. Is that the likes of Hamilton and Sargent pit early or late, pit a er bit early, and I think they've undercut everyone. 
um, compared to everyone else. So um, they are going to have a little bit older tyres though, and we are going to be have a, a clear tyre advantage at the start. So we need to get past them quickly before our tyres die, basically. Um, as well, we need to make sure we've got a buffer of Norris as well to Perez, which is fantastic. Perez now on the medium, so we're the ones with the tyre advantage for now. Um, as well, we've got eight laps remaining. Can we have a look at Hamilton? Danny inside, a little bit of a dive bomber up to P5 as well. Next up is Logan Sargent. We're just going to embarrass the American around the outside, turns the inside, and that is the effect of having soft tyres against hard. Um, way more, much more grip as well. Here's a replay, a lovely little move. I don't think you're going to see too much of this. Um, at this track at that corner gives the inside there for that corner there. Um, and that is um, Hamilton getting past Sargent as well. So Sargent start to plummet, plummet down the order there um, as well. Perez not past Sargent yet. Hamilton is. So hopefully Hamilton will hold off Perez. We're now having a look round the outside. Carlos Sainz has lost the lead to Max Verstappen. We cut in a bit, try and get a better line. Still not able to do that. Sainz has been um, pushed out to Magnussen. We're up onto the podium. And now we're just going to blast past Carlos Sainz. We've got so much more pace than him. Even you know Our tyres are not yet going off. Now we chase after Max Verstappen. And it's a comfortable move with um, DRS assisted. And up to P, up into the lead then of the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Can we win this race? Will the tyres left off? I don't, hold on rather. I don't know. Verstappen again having a go there. And then Perrot Sainz is going, gone through as well. Can we lift it off? Slightly on purpose to try and get DRS. Um, but now Sainz has gone through. The tyres are going off. They are not then all of a sudden the halves might be the best tie but again we have so much straight line speed in this car that we're still able to get past both Verstappen and Sainz we've just got to do a bit more of this for four more laps potentially and get the position as that is Logan Sargent and Sargent is out of the race so no debut points for him there'll be no points for Williams in this race because Albon is outside the top 10 currently well, that's going to bring out a virtual safety car, which is going to absolutely help us an absolute treat in terms of trying to save tyre work. It doesn't last very long, and it comes out of the world's pot most worst possible time. DRS are too deep there. The rears are the ones that are causing the issues um, as well. But we have got a lot of ERS to play with. Um, so I'm saving this. Essentially let Sainz through for the win as per Ferrari contract, trying to fend from Verstappen, but obviously Sainz will of course, um, there's it's a three wide, we've gone too deep into that corner, uh, we've locked off Sainz, Ferrari won't be happy with that, he's dropped to P5, that's horrendous, that, I apologise for that, we went far too deep, we tried, tried to go up the middle, of the staff and the sites and didn't work in science now it's through the staff and Magnuson and uh, there we're gonna fight science really uh, because um, you know and science just, just tries to pull off we're trying to keep a podium but it hasn't worked out and that's us down for P4 but Magnuson has taken the lead Kane came could win literally legit could win this race but Verstappen will have DRS over him um, down that long straight so as well as we now blast past back Carlos Sainz with DRS. Um, again, our tyres are out to 50%. So, um, this does work, but obviously doesn't hard. So look at the train that we're causing behind. Sainz goes past again on the lap 25. And now, it's just about trying to um, potentially keep the position. Can we keep defend from Perez, who's got part, finally got past Hamilton? The rears are really going off now. 53% on the rears. 40. The front's not too bad. Um, but obviously we are sliding about that horrible corner again and look at the, um, tr the correction I'm trying to make um, on the steering wheel there just to try and keep it in a straight line it is proving difficult we have lost DRS to sight so, so that's the podium sadly gone can we keep P4 um, you know this is sort, sort of back 5 but then it's the team's fault if they'd given me softs we could have picked mediums and we, I think we would have been on for the win. 
I'm not jo I'm not joking. We would have been on for the win. We are going to weave to try and break the slipstream from Perez, who has crashed on the final lap, halfway down the straight. Wow. What on earth? Else? So I'm weaving to try and break, and then I go defensive, and then Perez gets a wiggle on, and I think he's taken out Hamilton as well. Um, yeah, I don't think that's... There was no contact, you know. I'm just weaving about to try and break the toe, which is a bit iffy, but it is legal in this game, and Hamilton does not stand a chance. He is a passenger. Um, you know, he's thinking about making the overtake on Perez, trying to get the double slipstream there. Um, as well as Perez there, DRS gets a swig along and Hamilton clips his rear end um, as well. Nobody else, fortunately nobody else comes a casualty. We've gone too deep there, the two Alpines are now coming to catalyze. Can we hold on against those two? Um, as we come up to the line then, Verstappen the has sadly won against Verstappen. Magnus, I think he'd be world champion. The science is only finishing his third. We do hold on against uh, both the Alpines in the end. Who, you know, came through the carnage to get fifth and sixth. That's a great day for Alpine. But yeah, what I don't know what... Oh, I'm not going to say that's my fault. I think it's a bit 50-50. Perez... There, and so the, the celebrations lap. begin, um, and yeah. well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level at the very top is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers Champion. <sighs> yes, the staff and champion. Perez out. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I don't think that's my fault, personally speaking. Um, you know, there was no contact. Um, and again... You know, you see it in real life where they weave to try and break the slow. Yes, you obviously they get the penalties every now and again, depending on who's in the stewards. So, you know, but you know, with that bit of carnage, Russell actually managed to get P7. The two Alpines, a great payday for them. Aston Martin only uh, ninth and tenth in the Piastri getting points for and McLaren as well. Um, not for Lando Norris, who had a, a shocking race there. So, in terms of the um, drivers, we're comfortably clear now of Fernando Alonso so really we can go and enjoy this final episode um, of the season at Abu Dhabi uh, we're also come to be clear thanks to K-Mag's second place of um, Aston Martin in fifth so you know maybe you know I'm, part of it was the tyres the tyre it was the wrong it was a gamble to use softs at that point had we had softs you know we were obviously going to pit a bit later for Set, if we had that second set of sauce available, we were going to pit there. If not, we would have gone to mediums at the end. But having sauce in that second stint and doing what Perez did, I think we could have possibly won that race. So a little bit disappointing that we couldn't win that race. But we'll take P4 in the end. Um, yeah. But if you have enjoyed this video, then leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. See plenty more F123 drive coming videos as I may come up until the next video. Then I'll see you next time. Take care. Enjoy your day. And goodbye. I told you, if you carried on as you were and you didn't start putting in the kind of performances the team expected, you were going to lose your drive. Well, it's happened. As of today, you are no longer an employee of this organisation. Lucky for you, one of us is competent. I found you an option elsewhere, and I suggest you take it if you want any hope of salvaging this so-called career of yours.